Got a fish on the living stand. Got Out here in this agricultural area of Miami, Florida, the baby is due in a month. Oh, we're on a mission today, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I'm sorry, I, I've been busy and uh, it's been over a week since I've gone fishing and uploaded a video. So my baby is due on June 11th and in preparation for the baby, I've been building furniture and doing all kinds of things. My daughter just had her 16th birthday. We took her out of town to go, you know, hang out on the beach a little bit. So I haven't been able to fish and I haven't been able to film. So hopefully today I can get something good for you guys. I'm gonna go bass fishing and uh, try and hook on to something big. I was just headed to a location that I haven't fished in a couple years and apparently they've blocked it off. Look, gates everywhere. I used to be able to drive down this road to the entrance of the Everglades and now I can no longer do that. But there's a little bit of water here so I'm gonna see if I can actually catch a fish uh, and then find somewhere else to go. This episode of CEO Fishing is brought to you by the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle, Nines Optics, and Livingston Lures. So I've never fished here before. See a turtle. Water's actually pretty clear. But it looks like all Mayans. Wow. That's bait fish heaven right there. Bait fish heaven. So yeah, I was hoping I was hoping I could see some large mouths or something. But uh nah, it's just a bunch of Mayan cichlids. Like literally hundreds of Mayans. They're perfect bait. Oh look, are those deer tracks or wild pig? What kind of tracks are these? They're hooves. Hey, right? it's from a wild boar. What sucks is it took me about 35, 40 minutes to get out here to where I'm at. Now I gotta drive all the way back the other direction. There is another canal, a couple canals that I crossed on the way here that I fished a bunch of times before, but the further one that's closer to me now, I guess I'll stop there and try and hit it to see if I can catch some fish. I've made it to the next spot. There are two giant pipes in the water. I don't see too much movement from fish. Little fish, but not big fish. Oh, am I standing in ants? Felt like it. Let's see here. Go straight across. I'm trying to run it straight in front of that pipe. All right, location two is in the books. Not a bass in sight. So the mission is on. Now, now it's personal. You know, I have to find a fish that's going to bite. I haven't caught a fish in over a week. And you know what? My body's fiending. You know, the weather's bad. Looks like it's about the rain, you know, so my mind's telling me no, but my body telling me yeah. I should be a singer, right? Destination number three. Let's see if I have any luck. Ooh, something flashed on me. Got the Livingston, see that right there? Livingston. We're deep, deep in the agricultural zone, an area of South Florida, down in Miami. It's just a place where not a lot of people fish because it's off the grid a little bit. And there tends to be some decent fish here sometimes. I see something down deep. This uh, lure doesn't swim too deep, but I've got my other Livingston here. I'm gonna throw this bad boy and see what I can get, you know? I do see some color right there. Oh, yes, definitely a fish there. Definitely a fish. Got, 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 got a fish on the Livingston. On the Livingston. Got a fish on the Livingston. Look at that. Beautiful colors on that fish. Little guy, but he's a gorgeous one. Go ahead and put him back in real quick. All right, well, broke ice. That's all I could have asked for so far. Heck yeah, location number three pulled off. I got a nice peacock bass. Hooked another smaller one, but 
came off. Um, I got it on land, but it, it was it was small, so I didn't even want to show it on camera. Yeah, let's go to another spot. Let me let me see if I can get a little deeper into these uh, Everglades systems out here in this agricultural area of Miami, Florida. People, when they picture Miami, picture the beaches and the city life, like Brickell and stuff like that. People who live here picture Kendall and Hialeah and stuff like that. But the people who get outside, we know all about further west out in the Everglades because we like to get dirty, you know? We like to be outside in the elements. So most fishermen, freshwater fishermen down here know about these areas that I'm, uh, that I'm going to. And we love them because they hold fish. The only thing is, it is hot. Got a heat advisor. I feel the heat coming out of my chest right now. Breathing's getting a little heavy because the humidity is so high, but you know what? The mission is still on. Still going to go try and catch some fish. The baby is due in a month. My time's going to be a lot tighter after that because, you know, I'm going to have to be helping take care of the baby and all that, you know, bringing a new fisherman into the world. But you know what? I'm going to bring you guys along on that ride as well. I'm going to, I'm going to open up my personal life to, to you guys so you can see, you know, me raising a family but i'm getting out of breath i gotta get to the truck and get some water and uh i'm gonna find another spot to fish guys stay tuned it's gonna be fun this is all drained out i've never seen it this low before Ooh, look at all the dead fish look at all the dead fish Oh man, I don't see anything in here right now. This water level is super low. Usually this is underwater where I'm standing. The water comes over this. So they've drained this whole system out. I wonder what's further down. Looks like they uh, dredged all this uh, grass under here. So there's no vegetation on the bottom. That's a long walk to get over here just to have all the grass be dredged out. Last time I was here, it was grass everywhere and there was just largemouth after largemouth being ripped up out of here. Jaguar, cichlids, all kinds of fish. Snook, peacock bass. But I don't see anything. So I walked out to this spot and this guy's out here fishing. Introduce yourself, man. I'm um, Joel. That's Joel. And, uh, we found a nice fish, so he's gonna try and catch it real quick. Okay, right, he's coming at you, he's coming at you. He's gonna eat you, he's gonna eat you. Oh! He just smoked that shit. Yeah, he just, he hit it and spit it though. Yeah. The birds are out. And it looks like they're eating them. Another dead gator. Look at that. It is absolutely just too windy to use this because the line's being pulled all different directions. So I'm just going to throw on a frog and uh, see if I can catch something with a frog. i to switch up to this little swim bait. Big shout out to uh, Joel and Tony. Uh, they saw me out there fishing. I wanted to catch them getting a fish on camera. Just it didn't work out. The weather was rolling in. I ended up walking down the canal to uh, another area where I thought I might catch a fish and it just didn't work out. You know, the weather's been crazy lately. It's been extremely hot and now we got this nasty weather rolling in. So I got my fish and I got out of there. But uh, big shout out to you guys. It was fun hanging out for a little while. And uh, that's it, you know. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit subscribe and turn the notification bell on right now so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And uh, stay tuned because life's about to get wild. The baby is literally weeks away. Weeks away. One, one month. Less than a month away. And uh, my life is going to change forever. Fortunately, I've got, you know, my daughter. She's 16, so I got a built-in free, a free babysitter. 
she doesn't know it yet but you know she's gonna be watching that baby and wiping poopy diapers but guys thank you for watching i'll see you next time until then keep your head up keep moving forward in tight lines Zzz.